Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So today I'm going to be showing you how you can start mining Shiba Inu, the new popular cryptocurrency on Windows using Phoenix Miner and the Unminable Pool. So before we get into the video today, I do want to make sure to ask you to hit the like button to help out the YouTube algorithm in recommending this video for more people so more people can learn about how easy it really is to start mining cryptocurrency as well as some of these newer, more popular coins. So let's get into the video today. So the pool that we're going to be using is called Unminable, and they offer mining options for a ton of different cryptocurrencies. Now, what's really cool is you're actually going to be mining Ethereum or another popular cryptocurrency that it will automatically convert over into the currency that you want to mine. In this case, we're going to be focusing on Shiba Inu. Now, the reason you may want to do this instead of mining just straight Ethereum is you think the coin is going to go up in value over time more than Ethereum. If Shiba Inu was to go up 200% and you were mining it for a month, depending on your setup, you're going to have way, way, way more money than if you were mining Ethereum for two months and it went up 200%. Because even with a really, really good setup, you may only mine half of Ethereum in a month, and if it goes up 200%, yeah, you've doubled what you originally had, but if you were mining Shiba Inu, you would have had millions and millions of coins because of how cheap it is. So that's the main reason why you would want to do this versus just mining Ethereum straight up. But coming to Unminable, which there is a link in the description below, if you do want to follow this tutorial, if you use the link down below, you do get 0.75% fee instead of 1%, so you're actually earning a little bit more. But when you come here, you can see there's four algorithms across the top. I'm going to be doing this tutorial based off ETHash, which is the most popular mining algorithm. If you have a GPU with less than six gigabytes of memory on it, you'll want to follow this same tutorial for ETC hash. It will be the exact same. You'll just put yours in a different spot, which I'll mention here when we get to it. So basically, you'll click Get Started with Phoenix Miner here, come to the download page, and you'll install Phoenix Miner through their list of downloads. So we're going to assume that you know how to do that. I will mention that this is going to flag as a virus by most antivirus programs because it's going to be using your computer to make money, which is very similar to what a lot of virus programs do. To continue with this, you will have to let this program through your antivirus software, and if you are not comfortable with doing that, then don't do it. I personally have used this on a lot of my computers, and I've never had any issues, but again, if you're not comfortable with it, it's always your machine and your decision. So... Once you get that downloaded, you can see you'll have to extract it, and then I have the file right here. When you open it up, you'll see all of this except these guys here. They will not be there because that is once you get it started, it'll be doing those logs. So the first thing that you're going to want to do is find this file called epools underscore example. Go ahead and double click that, and it's going to open a notepad with all of this text in it. Now, here's where you're going to enter in your pool information. So we go back to Unminable, and if you just click here, this is the global server for Unminable's ETHash pool. So as you can see, we have port 3333 is the standard, and then there's an alt port of 13333. So what we're going to do is open this notepad back up, go ahead and paste this over that right there, and then I'm going to do the same thing right down here, except we're going to put a 1 in front of it. And that just means if this one for some reason fails, it'll fail over and use the alt server, which is still really nice that it does that. Now here you're going to paste in um, the worker combination here. So it's going to be uh, SHIB in all caps, which is telling Unminable that you're mining Shiba, a colon, your wallet address, which I'm for this example, I'm going to leave this file like this, and then you're gonna do dot whatever you want your rig name to be. I'll just leave it like that, and you'll wanna do this for both of them, have the exact same thing. You can pretty much just do it for one and then copy it right down. Now, what you're gonna to wanna to do if you're mining ETC is do that just right here. And that's gonna be the same thing, you'll just get the ETC server from Unminable, but uh, once you do that, you're going to go save. I'm sorry, you're going to want to do save as. 
and then rename this to just ePools and save it as a .txt file. So I already have one of those, so I'm not going to save it because it will give me an error. But as you can see here, once that's named ePools, it's going to be the exact same um, file. It's just going to have the updated information, and that way the program here knows to go look for that. So the next thing you're going to want to do is come down to Start Miner, right-click on it, and say Edit. This is going to open a another notepad here, and there's going to be a lot of information in here uh, to start with. But what you're going to do is come back to this uh, link here that you get when you click Get Started with Phoenix Miner. Scroll down, and here you're just going to copy this whole section of text. Just do Control C and then control V right over here. You can see it's all going to be the same. Uh, leave this stuff up at the top. This is telling it what to look for and everything. And then right down here, you're going to change ePool. I went ahead and just put the ETH hash with the main server. Worker, you're going to put the same thing you did in the ePools file and then leave your password as X. And then you'll just save that and you are ready to start mining. So all you have to do at this point is go ahead and just double click the start miner and it's going to go through and start mining. You can see it just created that log file. And over here, um, you can see that it has started mining. So right now, I'm having some issues with connecting to the main server. So it actually does fail over to the 133. And you can see it just connected. And we are good to go. Now, I am going to stop this because I am still recording the video. But you saw there it was that easy to set up the miner. There's just a few things you have to paste in. And then you can just click this start miner whenever you're ready to start mining. And all you have to do is close out of that command prompt window whenever you're ready to be done. So it is really that easy to get started mining Shiba Inu paired with the unminable pool today. Um, and this is a great way to obtain some extra cryptocurrency. You can use this tutorial for almost any one of the coins on this site. So, you know, if you wanted to be mining Dogecoin, it's going to be the exact same thing, except you're going to put Doge instead of Sheep. And that's the only difference. It's same server, everything. So you could actually create a number of these and just save them as, you know, Shiba Miner, Doge Miner, Bitcoin Miner, BTT miner, you know, all of that, and then switch between them, you know, and you can obtain a bunch of different cryptos just from mining in your off time on your Windows PC. So if you guys found this helpful, make sure to leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. Let me know why I didn't like it down below. And if you have any questions or comments, again, leave a comment down below or check out the Discord at the link in the description below. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.